Why is cocaine so addictive? I was addicted to cocaine. I was doing one to two eight balls of coke a day. And yes, that is a lot of cocaine. It's 3.5 grams to almost eight grams a day is what I was averaging uh, at the peak of my addiction. I was obsessed with cocaine and why is it so addictive? If you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. What's up guys? Why is cocaine so addictive? Here's the easiest way I can break down why cocaine is actually so addictive. Uh, taking a bump of cocaine and studying uh, somebody's brain pattern and falling in love and studying somebody's brain pattern of that feeling of falling in love, the brain patterns are very similar. So cocaine almost mirrors the feeling of falling in love, which is a euphoric feeling. It's a good feeling. It's an energizer, uh, energizing feeling. It's an empowering feeling. And that is the feelings of cocaine. And when it comes to cocaine, we don't really think in our brain exactly what cocaine is mixed with and cut with. And it is cut with different stimulants, caffeine, sometimes Adderall, Ritalin, meth sometimes. It's cut with laundry detergent. I mean, cocaine is cut with a lot of bad things. Baby laxative. Uh, anything that will help sell it better and make more money and be more profitable. You also, though, don't hear of people overdosing with cocaine. Now, there are about 30 to 35,000 deaths of cocaine overdose. And yes, you can OD on cocaine, but it's not the same kind of OD as people picture when it comes to heroin. Uh, you're not finding people that have OD'd on heroin with the needle still in their arm mixed with fentanyl dead in a shopping mall uh, parking lot. When it comes to ODing on cocaine, it is, you know, your heart rate is going up. It is the excessive sweating. Uh, it is the, you know, the feeling that your head is detached from your body and the disassociation, the lack of loss of breath. But it isn't this feeling of, of seeing somebody doing a line per se and just dropping down dead uh, like heroin is. So there's this perceived notion that cocaine is safer. So that alone can make it more addicting because you feel that it is a different drug. It's a safer drug, which in reality, it is not at all. I can tell you from personal experience, it's not because I was so obsessed with this drug. One of the other big side effects of this drug that makes it so addicting is the fact that it doesn't last very long. So when you do do a line of cocaine, it's the high is that feeling of empowerment and strength and all of this, this just hoorah feeling is only going to last for maybe 10, 15 minutes. So those of us with an addictive personality, uh, addictive personality, if you don't know, I mean, you can get addicted to anything, video games, anything that gives you a massive rush of dopamine, electronics, all of that stuff. So when it comes to this addiction, you have this high for 10, 15 minutes, but you want it to continue because you fall in love essentially with that feeling. So you're continually now doing line after line after line, chasing that dragon, trying to maintain the high, trying to make the high last longer so you're doing more to the point that you do become dependent on it. It becomes a habit for you. Uh, a habit, a routine is, is part of the, what addiction is. And so you start chasing this high. And that's what can make it so addictive is that one, I mean, this is almost like the cure-all drug. I mean, it instantly kind of sobers you up and you feel like more in the mood to party and you feel indestructible and you're energized and you're not tired anymore. Coke gives you all of that, but it also takes away so much more than that. And that makes it addictive. I mean, this is my, my unbiased opinion of cocaine is it is one of the most dangerous drugs out there because of the fact that it's easy to get, you feel that it's safe. And you're like, hey, I can just do a couple lines and you know what, I'm gonna be fine a couple hours later. Except unfortunately when we're an addict, we don't hit that a couple hours later because we're continually doing it, not wanting that high to go away. And that is that obsession all of a sudden that's created around that. And I'm not, again, an addiction expert. I am an addict myself. I was doing one to two eight balls of Coke a day, which I mean, at any given time, I wouldn't just do a line or a bump of Coke. I would do four to five lines of Coke. And they're not just little lines of Coke. I was doing very big lines of Coke. And it was that obsession side of me that didn't want the high to leave. And I thought I could outsmart how even the drug worked with my brain, because if I did more, then it's going to last longer. And it doesn't necessarily, chemistry doesn't work that way. Uh, I share just from my experiences and my testimony for anybody out there struggling, because this is not a drug to be romanticized. This is not a drug to be glamorized. Uh, this is a very dangerous drug to a lot of different people out there who are struggling with it on a daily basis. If you are struggling, I have links below for NA and AA. If you are an addict, man, reach out for help. I got sober 72517, and the biggest thing I can say is you reach out for help for everybody. You let them know that you're struggling. You let them know that you're an addict, and it starts going one day at a time. I mean, comment down below. We as addicts, the biggest thing is, is to not feel alone, to find the support out there, to know that you can do it, to know that life does get better when you get sober. 
again, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a counselor, I'm not a therapist. I, my name is Eric. I'm diagnosed with ADHD, PTSD, GAD, and MDD. Those are my diagnoses. I lost a wife and a father from suicide. I have self-harm before. I have level one autism. Uh, I was a recovering cocaine and alcoholic addict. And I've just found that the more that we share our testimonies, the more that we share our stories, the more that it helps others not feel alone, helps others relate to others, and then see success stories of those getting sober inspires us to get sober ourselves because we want that better life. So if you are out there struggling, you got this. It's just one day at a time.